There's two main things that I want to take away from Job's repentance in chapter 42. First, Job recognizes that God's ways are so much higher than his. Yeah. Job, through diction, the three-chapter-long response that we read, can't begin to understand how God worked throughout the natural revelation of the earth around him. So God is essentially saying to Job, how can you understand what I'm doing in your life? Amen. Job experienced God, secondly, in a more intimate way. And that experience that he had with God, that seemingly harsh conversation that we felt uncomfortable reading, that was enough for him. You see, the reality is, throughout the entire book of Job, we read Job, we read about Job's transformation. But through the first 30, I guess really 41 chapters, it's not a good transformation the way we understand it. But after we read chapter 42, we can understand that Job is transformed by God's authenticity for the better. Because after his experience with God, he never understood God's ways, but learned to trust in the wisdom and the authority of God. We face this difficult reality when we read the book of Job. Job didn't do anything to deserve the suffering that he faced. But as he questions God, even suggesting over and over again that God somehow got it wrong about him, God steps in and shows him that he has the entire world in his hands. Job didn't walk away with a reason for his great suffering. But instead, he walked away with an experience with God that gave him peace, understanding, and ultimately satisfied his soul. Job walked away knowing he didn't have to understand God to trust in his wisdom, provision, and sovereign hand on his life. Amen. Amidst all the suffering Job faced, we read at the end of the book of Job that God restores everything and multiplies it, that everything that Job had lost. And Job went on to live the rest of his life serving God up until his death. We have to wrestle with these questions that we have when we're going through suffering. But more than just when we're experiencing suffering, on our day-to-day -day lives, we are so often not focused on the authenticity of God, but because it gets lost in the inauthenticity of ourselves. Mm -hmm. 